Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka B Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend, and welcome back to your channel. Well, December 1st marked World AIDS Day, and MAC launched their latest Viva Glam campaign, Viva Glam 27, Keith Herring. So, you know what we're doing, beauty besties. We're gonna unbox, we're gonna swatch, and we're gonna talk about the latest Viva Glam lipstick. So, you know what to do grab your beverage. Let go! How you doing out there, sugar? But most importantly, what you sipping on? Who me? Hot tea. Because these lipsticks are fire. And I said, I had to drink the tea to spill the tea as we unbox and try on these lipsticks today from Max Viva Glam 27, y'all. So cheers to you, sugar. Ooh, and by the way, before I forget, Guess who got the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, y'all? Mm-hmm, me, your beauty best friend. So I said I was gonna try to record today's video since we're gonna be swatching and doing all that great jazz in the cinematic mode. And I also filmed Friday's Hot Topic in cinematic mode and notice I look blurry half the time. So I, bear with me as I'm still trying to learn this whole cinematic mode, but please let me know the quality of this video and what you think about filming in cinematic mode, okay? Now, are y'all familiar with the late great artist Keith Haring and all of his great legendary artwork? Well, Beauty Besties, Mac partnered with Keith Haring Foundation to bring together this limited edition three lipsticks for the Viva Glam 27. Now, for those that may not know who Keith Haring was, he is a late great New York based artist who was legendary for his graffiti style type of art in New York City. He was also an openly gay artist and activist who utilized his art to represent his community and their struggles while also advocating for safe sex and AIDS awareness. And in 1988, Keith was diagnosed with AIDS. He also founded his namesake foundation, the Keith Haring Foundation, to continue on his work by providing funding and support for AIDS research, charities, and education. And the world lost Keith in 1990 when he died because of AIDS complications, but his art and his philanthropic work still lives on. Which means, uh, for those that may not know, Viva Glam, the whole Viva Glam line of lipsticks is MAC giving model. 100% of the selling price of a lipstick goes to the MAC Viva Glam fund. And for those that may not be familiar with MAC Viva Glam and the line of lipsticks, the Viva Glam lipsticks, 100% of the selling price goes to the Mac Viva Glam Fund, which helps men, women, and children globally around the world impacted or affected by HIV and AIDS. We do extend outreach for the LGBTQIA plus community, along with women and people of color. It's a really, it's a lipstick that feels good, does good work, and it makes you look good at the same time. So let's unbox these limited edition three lipsticks. First up, let's check out the cinematic work. Ah, ah, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Wing. So this is red herring lipstick. So red herring, each lipstick has special deco packaging like this. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It looks, isn't it gorgeous? Look at this. I'm gonna give y'all a little YouTube hand and allow it to focus. Lipstick looks like this. So red herring looks like this. And this is what MAC is calling a creamy matte lipstick. A matte finish, but it's not drying. Now this is a vivid red. So uh, what I love about this is, you know, red is, is a classic color. It is a little black dress for any and all looks. And this is a beautiful vivid red. Now it's non-feathering for 10 hours and long wearing for 10 hours as well. All of the lipsticks has this claim, who does not want a good lipstick that's long wearing? Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, you, we got a red lipstick. Mm-hmm, sure do. This is what it looks like. But why, oh, why is there a yellow lipstick? And this one is called St. Mark's Yellow. For those that may not know, Keith Haring's work was all about painting in primary colors, red, yellow, blue. And y'all know primary colors are colors that you cannot create, but all colors come from red, yellow, and blue. So this is St. Mark's Yellow. Look at this. This is a sheer yellow and it has a slight pearl finish to it. And I'm gonna actually share this out a little bit more so you guys can really see that it's not as opaque as of the red right next to it. St. Mark's Yellow. This one is called Canal Blue. Look at the packaging. The packaging is absolutely stunning. It's basically like collector packaging. And this is Canal Blue, C-A-N-A-L Blue. Look at that. This is a creamy matte finish as well, but look how stunning this blue is. So I know, really quickly, let's recap. Red Herring, St. Mark's Yellow, Canal Blue. And I know you're thinking, well, Beauty Bestie, who 
is about to wear a blue and yellow lipstick. Let's go ahead and try these lips on and let me go ahead and give y'all some ideas because I know as your beauty best friend, I want y'all to buy these and feel in love because again, they're beautiful. You can have so, you can play so much with them and it's a good cause. Y'all know I don't do nobody's lips. And when I say nobody, I'm talking about my lips and everybody else that I may work on without using Prep and Prime lips. So they'll be the only time you see me put this on, but just know Prep and Prime lip is under every single one of these lips. Mm-mm, good. Prep and Prime lip, love it. Let's start soft and work our way big. Chestnut lip pencil all over my lips. Y'all see how well this lip liner glides on with this Prep and Prime lip underneath? Don't ever say I didn't tell you how to make sure your lip stays fierce. Cause side note, the Prep and Prime lip not only makes your lip feel comfortable, but it keeps your lipstick on longer, fills in fine lines on the lips, keeps your lips hydrated, keeps your lips from non-feathering. It's, it's really the bee's knees. Is that still trending, the bee's knees? But it is today. This lip primer is really the bee's knees. All right, Chestnut is on. Does this remind you of a good old 90s music video? Mm-hmm, a little Share My World by Mary J. Blige. Did that on purpose. Now take a look. Chestnut's all over. St. Mark's Yellow. Baby, y'all see this? If she is not cute and fierce, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Go back to our chestnut, clean these edges up. I'm come closer. Y'all see that? St. Mark's yellow, little chestnut lip pencil. All right, let's try on the next color. Vino Lip Pencil is like a nice Bordeaux wine color. Canal Blue, uh-huh. I said go big or go home, y'all. Look at this. Mm-hmm. I know, you're like, what is happening? First of all, blue's in. I don't know what y'all talking about. And it, even, it's a creamy matte, but there's a little bit like a pearl pigment in it as well. Yay. Canal Blue and Vino Lip Liner. She's cute, not conventional, but she's still cute, y'all. Look at this. This is giving me very much Oda Mae Brown from Ghost. You know, Whoopi Goldberg character? Come on. Canal Blue and Vino Liner. But catch this tease. I'm gonna take a little bit of red herring and watch this. These are so, they're primary colors. Red plus blue makes what? Violet. Look at this. I'm gonna create my own shade of violet. Violet, you're turning violet. Voila, we can go in, add a little bit more Vino to clean this up. And now we have our own custom eggplant blue violet lipstick here. Like literally Vino lip liner, canal blue and red herring on top. Now let's try on the red. By the way, look how this stained my lips. This is so packed with pigment. My lips are literally stained. I'm gonna have to add some concealer and foundation on top. But just know that the staying power is ridiculous. I look crazy. The staying power is ridiculous. Brick lip pencil to fill in my lips. Red herring on top. Look at this red. Is this not a pretty red? Oh, this is one of those reds that like looks good on everybody. Look how creamy and easy this glides on. So brick lip liner, red herring lipstick, this beautiful creamy red. Now let's take a little St. Mark's yellow and tap, tap, tap a little in the center here and look what it does. It kind of brightens it up. Oh, that's nice. It's almost like putting a gold glaze on top just to give it a soft diffused effect. But we have this red lipstick all over, the gold in the center, which is giving us very much like this red orange lip all of a sudden. Look at that dimension. Let's add a little bit more lip liner. Come on, is this not gorgeous together? Brick lip pencil, red herring on, St. Mark's yellow in the center, and we have this lip. 
These are so versatile. Let's just do one more play. Can I do one more play? Let's do one more play. You may be thinking, well, Beauty Bestie, I'm a little bit more of a natural kind of kid. I, the blue might be too much. The yellow might be a little intimidating. Let me show you how to infuse your natural and pizzazz it up some. Viva Glam 2 lipstick, because I told you Viva Glam has permanent lip colors as well. Viva Glam 2 is this perfect, beautiful, fleshy nude. So let's put that on. Boom. Let's add a little bit of a lip liner. You know what? I'm gonna go with Vino. We got our Vino on with Viva Glam 2. She's pretty. She's nude. She's a, a little natural. You get a little color from your lip liner. Let's take St. Mark's Yellow. Because y'all know these might be a little too bright. So I'm gonna show you how you can still do some good work and get you a nice little limited edition lipstick. St. Mark's Yellow. On top of your nude. Look at this. Guys, the combinations here with these lipsticks are really endless. Bam, look at this. St. Mark's Yellow, Viva Glam 2, Vino Lip Liner. You can even switch out the lip liner and do chestnut if you wanna go more earthy. These are so gorgeous. And on that note, guys, I got to go. You know, I hope this unboxing of these three new Viva Glam 27 Keith Pairing Limited Edition Lipstick by MAC helped. We got Red Herring, St. Mark's Yellow, and Canal Blue. The names, the links, everything is in the description box of this video. So feel free, pick you up one of these Viva Glam lipsticks, do some good. 100% of the selling price goes to Mac Viva Glam Fund. And on that note, guys, I got to go. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Like this video if you like, leave me a comment. Most importantly, check the notifications and make sure they're turned on. Y'all like this video in cinematic mode? Y'all let me know. Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you next time, guys. Bye.